Hey, music class. Welcome back to Miss E's Music Room. Today is Recorder 101. We're going to talk about what you're going to do with that school-issued recorder the first day you get it, what my expectations are, so that you're going to know exactly what to do on that first day. I want to talk to you about my number one expectation. This recorder needs to stay at school. Do not take it home. Don't put it in your backpack. It needs to go in your desk or in your cubby and stay there until music class. And I need for you to be thoughtful about that because if you do not bring your recorder to music class, then you have to use the decapitated recorders in my classroom. And a decapitated recorder is essentially a recorder that has no mouthpiece. So you will not be using your mouth at all. You will not be making any sound with your recorder. You're just gonna be practicing your fingerings. And there's a lot of value to that. It's just not as much fun. So be sure that you are bringing your recorder every time you come. And the only way I can ensure that that happens is if you leave it at school. If you take it home, I can't guarantee you're going to bring it back. You might even lose it. Um, I'm going to give you some options for if you want a recorder at home. And at the end of our time, we're going to talk about that. But let's first talk about your school issued recorder. We know now we have to keep them at school. What's the second thing we need to know? There are two kinds of recorders you're gonna see floating around Sharon. You're gonna see the white Harmony recorder and you're going to see the blue case black parapoles. There are two different kinds that we've been issued and we're just spreading them out amongst the different classes. So let's take a look at the Harmony. When you get the Harmony recorder, this is so easy to label because it's a white case. So the first thing we're gonna do is with a black Sharpie in music room, we are gonna write our first and our last name on the outside of the case. So we're gonna write that on there. They're gonna take out a recorder and this is gonna be hard not to blow. Self-control. You will get to play it, but don't do it right away. <laughs> when you get your recorder out, we're gonna write it right here. Our first name and our first initial should fit in this space. I don't know you need to put your whole first and last name, just your first name and your first initial right here in black Sharpie, and then we'll be ready to go. Let's talk about the parapole. So the black parapole comes in a zippered cap pouch, but it is a little bit harder to see with a Sharpie, but we're gonna do our best. Oh, so let's take a look at Miss E's. So using black Sharpie, I'm gonna write my full name here. And then you're gonna notice when you take out your parapole that I've put a white sticker right here on your recorder. This is where you're gonna put your first name and your first initial. So you'll put our, uh, your initial for your last name. So you'll put that right here and you're going to have to have the self-control to not pick off the sticker. Can you do it? I hope so. So you'll be labeling your recorder first. A recorder is like a toothbrush. Nobody should ever use it but you. So once your name is on your recorder, that's like your guarantee. This is my recorder. Don't play it. You know, protect your recorder, care for it. Don't let anybody play it. If somebody picks it up by mistake, they're going to be checking to make sure that it's their name. You should be in good shape. Okay, so we're good to go there. So that is the beginning session of a recorder labeling in Music Room. We'll talk more about what you're going to do on that first time you start to toot in just a little bit. Now let's take a look at some of the recorders you may want to purchase at home. So when you get home, if you decide, I want to play more at home, I want to practice my recorder karate belts at home, you may be interested in purchasing a second home recorder. So I can't sell them to you here. We don't have any to sell. So I'm going to give you some options of ones that I've looked at online that your parents can buy either online or in person at the store. This is a very popular recorder. This is called the Yamaha. And mine has a lanyard. Yours probably will not have one. That's okay. Um, when you get this, please go ahead and label it in the same way. Put your first and last name in Sharpie right underneath the mouthpiece. And then I want you to also label your case. This is called the Yamaha Pink Translucent Recorder. They come in many various colors. So enjoy picking one that you love. If you go to West Music and want to purchase one of their recorders, the white recorder that we have, the Harmony that we have is wonderful, but they also have them in other colors. This is a really pretty blue color. So you might see those. And this one is an MPI Classic 
also available at West Music, and some of these can also be available at Music and Arts. So look around for what recorder you might want. As long as it is a soprano recorder, you're not going to be able to go wrong as long as you buy it from a reputable source. Don't buy a recorder at Target or Dollar Tree. That wouldn't be any good. All right, let's go on to my website and I'm going to show you some of my recorder resources. Hey, music class, this is Miss E's music website, and I have a bunch of resources for recorders. So let's quickly pop through them and talk about the big thing you may want to know is how to purchase one. So we're going to talk about on this page, the basics of recorder, how to take care of your recorder, helpful hints for the recorder. If your family is curious about recorder karate, here's a little info for them. Let's talk about where to purchase a recorder. Now you can go into any music and arts store. There are several local ones. You can walk in and say, I need a recorder, show me your recorders and pick any of them that they show you. That's totally fine. Um, but say you just wanna purchase one online, you wanna get one on Amazon, here are some choices for you today. So I'm giving you two places that I say to look. Yamaha's on Amazon are a great idea. There's plenty of different colors to choose from, or you can also go to West Music. The two different choices here, Amazon is gonna be more expensive, but they'll get to you faster. West Music is less expensive, but then you pay for shipping and they will take longer your choice. Let's take a look at Yamaha on Amazon. So when I'm looking at these recorders, I'm going to see they're in the $10 price range. There are some different versions here of different co colors. If you want to choose, all of these come with a case. That's very important. And I believe all of these four that they are giving you here as an option are all prime. Um, some of them are changing in price a little bit. So for instance, say you want the pink one like I have, it's $10 and three cents instead of $9.99. So keep that in mind as you're looking. Let's take a look at the West Musics and see the difference. So this is the same recorder, the Yamaha, $4.99, it's so much cheaper. However, you're paying for shipping as well, and you're also gonna need to wait for it to come. So, you know, you're gonna pay a little bit more on Amazon, but, that's how that works. If you wanted uh, a recorder like the Harmony, like we're using in class, they have different versions and colors of that also on West Music. Let's click on that. And these are even less expensive, $329. What a nice looking recorder. However, again, you'll have to also purchase shipping and you'll have to wait for it to arrive. So keep those in mind. So those are a couple choices. If you wanna walk into a store and look, my suggestion is music and arts, music and arts. Okay, let's talk about the other resources on here, recorder videos. So when you come to my recorder video session, they start in what you need to start playing recorder, and then they start to get a little bit harder, and they will progress into recorder karate belts, the kinds of things that you'll be doing in music class. So we're going to be starting first, of course, with breathing, basic tooting, basic playing into your recorder, I call it tooting, um, starting with E, the low note. We're going to be doing all of this in music class, but if you want a little reinforcement at home with your home recorder, here are some great options for you for videos you can watch. As we start getting into recorder karate, and belts, you're going to come farther down and you'll see, oh, here's the white belt, hot cross buns. I want to start practicing that. There you go. So those resources are there for you. Let's talk about recorder practice. On this page, I have for you all of the slides that we're using in class. You are welcome. So say you want to practice at home and you need the music, but you don't have the printed sheets. You can practice online with your Chromebook right from my website. There you go. Has all of the belts that we're going to be working on in class, including your recorder karate slides. I also have included your logins for Music K8 recorder karate. So on this, this is really cool. You can stream the audio track so you can listen to the music and play and also an intera interactive fingering chart. Both of these require your login and password. There they are for you. OK, so I want for you to get started with this at whatever pace you need. If you're going to be using just the school recorder and you're going to keep it at school and you're just going to play in the classroom, that's great. If you think that this is something you're going to be really excited about, try to purchase a second recorder, start some work at home so that you start progressing on your recorder faster. And then when we work together in class or in recorder mornings, which we'll talk about later, you are going to have a way head start. That's all I've got for you today. Let's start getting ready on recorder.